Hi there, Mouseketeers. Welcome to the Disneyland beat where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. Well, there've been a lot of comments recently calling for the Tron light cycle coaster to come to Disneyland in California. It looks like an incredible ride, but is there room to squeeze it in Disneyland without having to take something out? And if you do have to take something out, what has to go? Today, we pull out the speculation maps and we go about the business of fitting Tron light cycle run into Disneyland, California. Like, subscribe, and stick around. Well, Mouseketeers, the Tron Light Cycle Run Coaster opened in Shanghai Disneyland in 2016, and it's been wowing guests for some time. The ride looks incredible with a fantastic, fast, visually stunning ride experience. Plus, it adds a lot to the surrounding land. It has a bright, colorful, LED-lit canopy, and it has an indoor-outdoor coaster track that adds kinetic energy to the futuristic land. And of course, the same ride with almost the exact same layout is being built in Tomorrowland at Walt Disney World in Orlando. It's currently under construction, and though its construction has slowed, it will be finished soon. It's being built right next to Space Mountain and will make quite the pair of modern coasters and a real plaza in Tomorrowland at Walt Disney World. So we did our best to base the scale of the ride from Shanghai Disneyland off the version coming to the Magic Kingdom as close as we could. And considering that Disneyland Space Mountain is slightly smaller with its single track, we came up with an image of the footprint of the Tron attraction to try and fit into the Disneyland map. And with that, we present several different location possibilities for fitting Tron into Disneyland. First of all, the attraction itself basically consists of a large canopy that houses part of the coaster track and part of the queue and even a walking path underneath it. It also has a large square show building attached that is hidden by the tall canopy. The overall footprint is basically a rectangle with the entrance facade and canopy being on one of the narrow ends. And no matter how we looked at it, there was certainly nowhere to put the ride where it would really be part of Tomorrowland and not require the removal of an attraction of some kind, if not several, or at least major changes to them. So there's no making this cake without breaking at least some space eggs. That being said, there are a few interesting options for where you put the coaster. In our first scenario, we go for the old Carousel of Progress and America Sings building, today's Star Wars launch bay. It's a great candidate for removal or change anyhow. The building really never found a better use once the rotating theater was removed. It has had some fun exhibits and character meet and greets and cool special upcharge events, but nothing that really everybody could enjoy and benefit from like they could from another major attraction. If you just place the Tron light cycle as is with the canopy sticking out in Tomorrowland, it takes out quite a few buildings. So you have to rotate the back show building up so you don't take out the Grand Canyon and the primeval world dioramas of the Disneyland Railroad. And in this version, we're trying to avoid that. We like this position a lot, but it didn't seem to fit the design as well as it could. It's not unusual for Disney to flip or mirror rides as they build them in different parks, and we think Tron would look better if it were flipped. It allows for the canopy to be seen a bit better, we think. In this layout, Pizza Planet gets preserved, Autopia doesn't get touched, and the canopy could even stretch out over the pathway up to its queue and the Tomorrowland station. Yes, we think this is our favorite situation for the ride. It would add so much to Tomorrowland with fairly minimal change and no loss of any major attractions as we know them outside of the launch bay. The railroad station in Tomorrowland might need some adjustments and the trains would have to go through the show building somehow for Tron. But we think that's very possible to do. The train goes through lots of other attractions, so why not? There are some variations of this that might be interesting. Still centering on the idea that Launch Bay would be replaced, you could orient the ride as designed to have more frontage on Tomorrowland's main square. It could replace Pizza Planet, and we don't think there'd be too much kickback. The ride could also slide a bit north into Autopia's territory. It would be pretty cool if the canopy could span the entire path between the Launch Bay and the Autopia buildings, with both the footpath and some of the Autopia track intact passing underneath it. I think it would look great. And of course, the Autopia would still be a great ride if it was a touch shorter. After all, the Autopia now is a combination of two different Autopias from the past, from Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. 
A pretty dramatic option to fit Tron into Disneyland would be to let the coaster be the North Barrier of Tomorrowland, completely replacing the old Circa Rama Theater building entirely. And of course, this is pretty unlikely. The Galactic Grill, one of the few eateries in Tomorrowland, shares this space with a pretty popular ride, Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, so the uproar would be pretty loud. But the ride's footprint does fit pretty well into the space, and if additional retail and food could be built into the show building, with some facades added, might work pretty well. Don't know if there's room for all of that, but it would make the room into and out of Tomorrowland pretty incredible. Well, more incredible anyhow. The other most often talked about place for the attraction, or at least some new attraction to eventually find its way into Disneyland, is the Finding Nemo Subs. This ride is usually pretty high on the rumor list of attractions slated for some sort of change. Now to be honest, fitting Tron in at the expense of the green area of the Autopia and the Subs would really be unfortunate. I wouldn't be a huge fan of that. The Lagoon and the Autopia Forest keep the east side of Disneyland from being nothing but buildings and cement. And we think that that is an immeasurable contribution to everybody's park experience, whether you're actually aware of it or not. Plus, I wouldn't think you would want to get the ride too far into Fantasyland, right? But luckily, there is potentially room for the ride and the trees. So we came up with two different options for fitting Tron into the lagoon area. One was the nuclear option, putting the ride right over the lagoon. We found this created a really cool northern border to Tomorrowland that doesn't quite exist at the moment and didn't really impact Autopia too much at all. But it did take much of the subs track and require a reroute of some of the monorail track. A potential downside of this would be how the Tron light cycle run would border up on the Matterhorn area. And I think that the two themes would clash. And of course, the loss of the lagoon seems extreme. I could live with the subs going away, but I want the lagoon to stay. It's such a peaceful and beautiful spot that fits right in with the Matterhorn Mountain. Perhaps a better utilization of the space would be to have the attraction straddle the lagoon with its canopy portion coming out over it. Perhaps the lagoon could be incorporated into the outdoor portion of the ride and the coaster could zoom over it. But at least you could keep the lagoon while using subspace for the ride. And of course, this configuration would also affect the Autopia and the monorail station, but there would definitely be room for them to be refurbished and kept. Nonetheless, all of these submarine lagoon options seem very expensive. But who knows, keeping the submarines operating might be the costly thing, the most expensive move of all. Overall, we really like option one, taking out the launch bay but preserving pretty much everything else. When scaling everything and doing the overlays, we were surprised to see how many ways the ride might actually fit. We certainly had our doubts. We would certainly welcome the ride. It looks really fun with amazing effects and cool ride vehicles, a smooth ride, and Tomorrowland is certainly ready for some refurbishments. We just hope it's all done carefully and with respect for the current attractions. It is one of our fondest dreams to see the Tron Light Cycle Coaster Canopy designed in a unique way for Disneyland so it can incorporate as many rides as possible underneath it. Maybe even the People Mover again. Well, that's it for us today, Mouseketeers. We had fun. Everybody stay safe. Take care of each other. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. See you real soon.